Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. Last session, we learned you how to create a workspace, store and publish a shape file by Joe Server. In this session, we want to talk about how to preview the created layers and also publish a JoeTiff data by Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Layer preview section provides links to preview the layers in various output formats and helps you to visually verify and explore the configuration of particular layer. In order to preview the created layer, navigate to the layer preview section. As you can see in the screen, each layer out consists of type, title, name, and available formats for viewing. Name refers to the workspace and layer name of a layer with a column. For example, in Project Column Rivers, the workspace name is Project and reverse is the layer name. From here, you can find the layer you would like to preview it and click these links for an output format. To sort the column alphabetically, click the column header. Searching can be used to filter the number of items displayed. This is useful for working with data types that contain a large number of items. To search data type items, enter the search string in the search box like river and click enter. Joe Server will search the data type for items that match your query and display a list view showing the search results. Click the Open Layers link to preview the reverse layer. Also, you can enter the workspace name, for example, project in the search box to find the layers and preview from each layer. Now preview the reverse on the line filter. As you can see, some features are not displayed because of the SQL filter defined. The output formats. The layer preview page supports a variety of output formats for further use or data sharing. For vector layer, you can preview the common formats like open layers, GML, and KML formats, but for raster layer, you can preview open layers and KML. In general, the output formats are divided into three categories below. Image outputs. All image outputs can be initiated from a WMS GetMap request on either a raster, vector, or coverage data. WMS are methods that allows visual display of special data without necessarily providing access to the features that comprise those data. Image outputs such as KML, JPEG, GIF, SVG, TIFF, PNG, PDF, and upper layers. Data outputs. All data outputs are initiated from a WFS get feature request on vector data. Data outputs such as GML2, GML3, and Shapefile. Text outputs are such as AtomPub, JoeRSS, JoeJSON, and CSV. Adding a JoeTiff data. JoeTiff is a widely used special raster data format. It's composed of a single file containing both a data and the georeferencing information. By default, JoeTiff will be an option in the raster data sources list when creating a new data store. So, to add a JoeTiff data store, click Stores from Data section. Then, click the Add New Store button. Select Project from the drop down menu as the workspace. Specify a proper name as data source name, for example, enter dem underline str. Check the Enable checkbox. If checked, it enables the store. If unchecked or disabled, no data in the JoeTiff will be served from Joe server. In the URL under the connection parameters, browse to the location of the JoeTiff file, then click the Save button. Now you will be redirected to the new layer page automatically, and to add a layer for an available resource, click Publish. Check the name, coordinate reference systems, and the bounding boxes fields are properly set, and click on Save. Edit a layer. To view or edit a layer, click the layer name. A layer configuration page will be displayed. After the edits was done, click the Save button to keep the change. Publishing tab. The Publishing tab configures HTTP and WMS, WFS, WCS settings. Dimensions tab. Enabling dimensions for a layer allows users to specify those as extra parameters in GetMap requests filtering the data set to that particular set of times or elevations. Tile Caching tab. This tab sets tile cache configuration at layer level. Security tab. The security tab sets data access rules at layer level. 
Remove a layer. To remove a layer, select it by clicking the checkbox next to the layer. Also, multiple layers can be selected for batch removal. All layers can be selected for removal by clicking the checkbox in the header. Note that selections for removal will not persist from one result page to the next. Once layer is selected, the Remove Selected Resources link is activated. Once you have clicked the link, you will be asked to confirm or cancel the removal. Selecting OK removes the selected layers. Layer Groups A layer group is a container in which layers and other layer groups can be organized in hierarchical structure. It can be referred to by a single name in WMS request that allows simpler requests as one layer can be specified instead of multiple individual layers. A layer group also provides a fixed ordering of the layer it contains and can specify alternate or non-default styles for layers. Add a layer group. The buttons for adding and removing a layer group can be found at the top of the layer group page. To add a new layer group, select the Add a new layer group button. The initial fields allow you to configure the name, title, abstract, and workspace of the layer group. Enter PRG underline group as name and project layer group as title. The enable checkbox, if disabled, will cause the layer group to just show up at the configuration time, while the advertise checkbox, if unchecked, will make it to not be available in Get Capabilities Request and in the layer preview. The behavior of layer group regarding both checkboxes will not affect the behavior of any of the layers being grouped, which will follow respectively that is specified in the corresponding edit page. You can write a short description in the abstract box and from the workspace menu select project. In the layer group section, workspace selection is optional. The bound section contains the data bounding box of this layer group in the native coordinate reference system. The input can be done manually or automatically with the help of generate bounds. Note, by default, a layer group is a queryable when at least a child layer is queryable. Uncheck queryable box if you want to explicitly indicate that it is not queryable in independently of how the child layers are configured. So in order to add some layers to the build list, you can click the Add Layer button at the top of the table. From the pop-up window, select the layers to be added by clicking the layer name. We add the dem layer first, then click on Reverse Layer to add to the build list. A layer group can be added by clicking the Add Layer Group button at the top of the table. From the list of layer groups, select the appropriate layer group's name. A style group is a style that has one or more named layers which reference layers that exist in the catalog. A style groups can be added to the layer group as an alternative way of defining a collection of style layers. To add it, click the Add Style Group button at the top of the table and from the pop-up window. Select the style group to be added by clicking its name. Finally, click the Generate Bounds button to have your server compute the group bounds from the layers inside of it. Remember that a layer group can contain layers with dissimilar bounds and projections. Your server automatically reprojects all layers to the projection of the layer group. When a layer group is processed, the layer are rendered in the order provided, so the publishable elements at the bottom of the list will be rendered last and will show on top of the others. A publishable elements can be positioned higher or lower on this list by clicking the green up or down arrows respectively or can be simply dragged into the target position. The layer group drawing order follow the WMS painter's model, meaning the first layer in the list is painted first, then the second and so on until the last layer. In other terms, this means that the first layer is at the bottom of the map, for example, them. The second layer is above the first, covering it, for example, rivers and so on. The last year is at the top of the map and covers all other below it. So you can see some columns in the layer tab, such as type, layer, default style, style and remove. The type column can have layer, layer group and style group based on your selection. The layer column display the name of layers and layers group. In order to use to define the style for each layer, enable default style checkbox. The style column shows the style associated with each layer. 
To change it, click the appropriate style link in clicking on Style and Reassigns the Layers style. To remove the publishable elements from the layer group, select its button in the Remove column. Metadata links allows linking to external documents that describe the data of layer group. Keywords make possible to associate a layer group with some keywords that will be used to assist catalog searching. Press Save to create the new layer group. So in order to preview the created layer, navigate to the Data and Layer Preview page and enter PRG underline group in the search box and press Enter. Click the Open Layers link for a given layer and the view will display. An open layers map loads in a new page and displays the group layer with the default styles. You can use the preview map to zoom and pan around the dataset as well as display the attributes of features by clicking on each feature. Edit a layer group. To view or edit a layer group, click the layer group name. A layer group configuration page will be displayed. After the edits was done, click the Save button to keep the change. Remove a layer group. To remove a layer group, select it by clicking the checkbox next to the layer group. Multiple layer groups can be selected or all can be selected by clicking the checkbox in the header. Click the Remove Selected Layer Groups link. You will be asked to confirm or cancel the deletion. Selecting OK removes the selected layer groups. Using WMS layer in QGIS. As the final subject of this session, we want to display a WMS layer in QGIS software. To add and working with the WMS layer, at first open QGIS and go to on layer, add layer, add WMS, WMTS layer. In the layers tab, click on new. Name your connection. This is not the name of the layer but the name of service which is offering the WMS layer. The URL that you need to access a WMS layer as HTTP address of WebMap server. When you access a WMS server with this parameter in the URL, it returns a list of layers available along with various metadata. In this case, name the connection as my project and the URL HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash Joe server slash project slash WMS. Then click OK. Next, click on Connect button to fetch the list of layers available. You will notice different IDs listed next to the layers. ID 0 means you get a map of all the layers. If you don't want all the layers, you can expand the list and selecting the layers of interest. Click Add and Close. You will see the layer loaded in the QGIS canvas. You can zoom or pan around, just like any other layer. The way WMS service works is that every time you zoom or pan, it sends your viewport coordinates to the server and the server creates an image for that viewport and returns it to the client. So there will be some delay before you see the image for the area after you have zoomed in. Also since the data you see is an image, there is no way to query for attribute like in a regular vector or imagery layer. In this session, we learned you how to preview the created layers, publish Jotif data, and also create a layer group. It's our pleasure that you enjoyed today's video. If you like our contents of tutorials, please like it and join us. Also, if you would like to know more information around the publishing shapefile in Joe's server, recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!